How's it everybody? Welcome back to the Rocky Fern. My name is Luca and I have OA Type 4 and in today's episode we're checking out one of my bigger Nepenthes. This is Nepenthes truncata and it's awesome. Let's get into it. All right guys, so this is Nepenthes truncata and truncata is one of the larger species of Nepenthes. They're um, endemic to the Philippine Islands and they're a uh, really, really cool Really cool Nepenthes. Got these big old gigantic heart-shaped leaves. Some pretty big pictures here as you can see. These are the lower pictures and they have that um, pretty typical ladder that a lot of the lower pictures on a lot of Nepenthes will have. And you'll notice that the pictures face toward the leaf as they age. And eventually this uh, picture will face, and upper pictures will actually start to grow outward where this will face outward. and this ladder will actually disappear. This is one of the newer pitchers that's about to open and I'd say there's a couple ounces of fluid in there already. There's this really cool little alfalfa looking projection on here. And is it just me, but uh, Nepenthes pitchers before they open look incredibly phallic. It's so hard to walk by these sometimes and, and think that this is okay uh, to display out in the public. But anyway, I always think that's pretty interesting. What's really cool about Nepenthes truncata, this is a plant I bought off of predatoryplants.com, a very cool website, really reputable. Um, this is the Titan's Tower, and I can't tell you how incredibly happy I am with this plant. So actually right here, you'll see some close-ups on the inside um, view of the pitcher plants. They have like this um, tricolor camouflage looking um, pattern to them and they're gorgeous. The peristome, um, we'll move up to the peristome. The peristome is incredible. I can't wait for these things to get enormous. Um, and then some of the coloring you can see here on the leaves are really cool. Some nice red stressing here, a lot of like extra nectar floral um, or extra floral nectaries rather along the undersides of the leaves, which is kind of cool to see. You can see that all right in here. Uh, a very cool plant. This picture right here actually, I um, put in a really big centipede. It had to be six, seven inches long and I wanted to smell it. And yeah, it smells, it's not too putrid. It smells like if you have a freshwater fish tank and you clean out a sponge filter, it has that kind of really earthy, musky tone smell to it. Um, a very cool plant. These guys have been known to eat mice in the wild, and the pitchers can get up to about um, 24 inches tall. I think this variety, the mother plant um, at Predatory Plants, um, is like 19 inches, the biggest pitchers they produced. But it will be cool once we start to vine out and it starts to produce upper pitchers. Um, to see the difference there, but uh, an overall very easy going pitcher plant. Um, it is a low growing or lowland growing species, um, up to 1500 meters um, in the Philippines, but it's been doing really, really well. I have to be careful because we just got inundated with rain. You might be seeing us on the news, they kind of shut down all the schools, we had some bridges that were blown out, but they're all full of water and I don't want to drip any of this um, stinky water anywhere here in the studio that we're recording in. Uh, pest wise, I haven't had any pests with this. We do get ants that sometimes um, will farm some mealybugs. I haven't had it happen on the truncata yet, but they definitely are filling up these traps with ants. They love the fluid that the um, traps produce. Typically on the upper pictures here, if I can show you, if I can show you right in here, you'll get uh, a lot of dew and nectar and the ants are drawn to that. And there's actual toxin in here that um, they'll drink and they'll get drunk and they'll fall inside the pitcher, which is crazy. So a lot of these pitchers are just full with carcasses of ants and um, cockroaches. So here in Hawaii, it's perfect. They've been feeding themselves quite readily. Um, I will say I did notice this pitcher, um, this newest one, um, balloon up once I fed that centipede. So it is getting a lot of nutrition from that centipede mill. And I will do once in a while a little uh, Maxi C slow release fertilizer in each of these pitchers, but um, typically this truncata has been feeding itself. And this is the biggest pitcher so far on this plant, and they should subsequently get larger and larger, but this is just really exquisite. You can see that red coloring on the, um, on the edges here. 
really, really pretty. I am keeping this in um, kind of an experiment. So I did uh, a little sphagnum moss plug and when it outgrew that, I put the whole plug inside the stratum mix. And so far it's been doing really, really well. I make sure to water it um, often if it's not raining, but I don't have this guy sitting in a little tub of water. And so far it's been doing really, really well. It has dried out quite a bit. I wouldn't say 100%, but it's dried out quite significantly and it's done just fine. It hasn't had any um, leaf wrinkle or anything like that to it, but it's been doing really, really well. Uh, for some reason, this picture right here got aborted, which is kind of interesting to see why it did that. Maybe it got damaged, maybe not, but it's already kicking out this new picture right here. And so this leaf is still soft and tender, and it should blow up to be quite big like this. And I have seen some truncata leaves that are three feet, I mean huge, maybe a foot and a half across and three feet long. Um, and the stems could be just the size of my pinkies, just enormous. So they can get really, really big. And uh, yeah, I'm just so excited. Um, I think the next video I'm gonna do is kind of show you the difference between um, the tropical pitcher plants, the Saracenia, which would be the North American pitcher plants, the Helium 4, which would be the South American pitcher plants, and the um, Cephalotus, which would be the Australian pitcher plants, because they're all pitcher plants, but they're all really unique in how they grow in their ecology and whatnot. So if you wanna see that, stick tuned. For that video to post probably on Monday and make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.